What's All up? right, How's it going? So, let's go back from uh, World Cup. Yeah, back from World Cup. Got a couple things cooking. Ooh. Checking some things out in the CRX here. Looking at making a coal bracket. Yeah. Doing coals. This is from, the, this is from uh, Freedom Civic. And I just noticed this too. I showed my dad, but check this out right here. Bare wire on the coils for number four. This is the number four coil looking at the wire. So that needs fixed for sure. Looking at my spark plugs. My dad says usually when there's this red color, it's from some sort of intake manifold leak, so gotta check that stuff out. Or he said it could just be the fuel with moisture and sitting. Not sure, but we mm -hmm. gotta figure that all out. We got the injectors out and we're on the machine to check out, clean them. Because it did kind of misfire before it came up on the two-step at the car show, so I'm just trying to kind of sort that out. And then back here, I made a leg of methanol. I'm getting, I've got the hitch out and uh, the gas tank. I'm working on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut all of this stuff out and then, um, do the cuts over to the frame rail in the back and some other cuts. I got some things I want to cut and do and just get this thing, some bunch of weight out of it. We'll cut the windows out so we can get the Lexan going in. Maybe not on the back window just yet. I could get the uh, patch coming. There's some things I want to do. I don't know if I just unplugged this, but if this has been unplugged the whole time, that's that's bad. Because that's, that's, my, that's all my horsepower. Remount that, change all that up. Um, I'm gonna, so I want to cut it all out so then I can set the gas tank off to the side and then use this strap along here with the hitch on the bottom. And then I've got another five gallon cell that's the same. I want to put on this strap with the fuel cell or with the hitch holding it up. So then I can just uh, tee those together to the fuel pump and have 10 gallons all the way up. I think I'm just going to take her apart, send the pressure plate out and the clutch stuff out, get that refreshed, go through the fuel system, do all the stuff since winter's here, you know, and yeah, try and get signed up for some stuff and start planning out the next year, seeing where we're at and have fun. Nice. I don't know if uh, you noticed, but we, we had a mishap and so I had to, I had to fucking... <laughs> See, everyone's saying it'd be super noticeable. I didn't even notice, but it looks good. Well, the, you know, we had a heater in the trailer. Oh, yeah. And we had, there's like a, well, there's a bottom vent and a top vent in the trailer and the heater. So the bottom vent's like, the heater's right right here. My bed, Steve's bed, Aaron's bed. And uh, woke up in the middle of the night, heater was off, right? Propane heater, but it was, it was going or whatever, you know? So like, got my lighter, freaking <laughs> go over. And you gotta like click the side button to relight the pilot. So I click the side button, I hit it with the lighter. And it's like, it, the lights are out, it's dark in the trailer. And I'm kind of standing over it like this, you know? Oh. So I hold it and <laughs> light it up and just a blue flame right in the, got, got the stash, bro. We fucking only had half a stash. So when I got home, I had to trim it up, right? It looks good, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, I think, you know, see? You needed an accident to, <laughs> it was, it you was know? Rough. It was rough, Just see the trim up, but. Yeah. Well, it's gonna grow twice as, uh, for right. now, but it's nice, right? Yeah. You know the the fish tank scissor kit. I, I had yeah. I hadn't used yet, so I was like, dude. Or you you trim the plants and then you hit the stash right? with no, same I scissors. I didn't want to use a pair that wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> might be a little too much. That's a bit much. Yeah. So we had that. Well, that's where we're at. But after Jamie's thing, you know, we were like, okay. So I mean, my my last couple passes I've made without a visor. I definitely need to get a visor on my helmet. I've made without gloves because I can't find my gloves. We need to have gloves times two. Everyone needs spare gloves because, I mean, Jamie's gloves are burned now, so he, he needs new gloves mm -hmm. anyway, so we all need spare gloves. We need to get Hanses. Hanses, and oh. now that he's crashed, he needs a new one, so we all need a, a Hans and a spare. Like, we just yeah, need see to have they, everything they times got a, two a for deal safety, on a four safety pack. times two, yeah. Helmets, I mean, if you and I wear the same size, having a third helmet off to the side just in case for either one of us isn't bad. Like, just all of it, and then I... He his fire suppression ran out. I mean, it did really good, but having a bottle, having a ten pound bottle for inside the car and outside the cars, two bottle system, just I don't know, being wanting to do more drag and drives and stuff. It needs to be even more sound and solid. I feel like, you know, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do some cutting potentially, chopping all that out, adding the fuel cell, ten gallons. Might even do some more radiator stuff. I was thinking like we could get all Audi like and do two two side radiators and one on each side 
and they, they plumb into the middle one here, so it's like three massive radiator system. Well, because yeah, they got I'm, I got yeah. room. I, I got tons of room in front of the battery and in front of the exhaust for two pocket radiators, like oil cooler style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But so we got some things to do. We're gonna go over the system. I need to get my own plug wires. I'm thinking mount these here, do that, and a couple modifications. Saw some really cool stuff out there. World Cup though. Might have to tell you off, yeah. off camera. <laughs> yeah. Did a little bit of betting. Talked to a couple of Canadians. I know you guys all remember when we put this in. Now we're taking it out. All right, so I got both side plates broken loose. Just need to cut off the bottom where they're welded the tube and those will be out. And then um, I got that broken off the tube there. I need to break it off the tube there and then break off that tube and that tube. The center one's gonna have to pop out fully in the middle, but should be able to drop out these side ones. Once these are disconnected from the tube and I cut out the spare tire hole, those should just drop out the bottom. Should all just kind of pop out for that part in the middle there. We'll just cut that out as well because all that will be underneath in game. In game is going to be so much better back here. Oh, this be, I can't wait. Oh, uh, this has been, it's needed to happen. All right, making progress. So we're sort of getting in here. The fuel pump would fit now, theoretically, but, or I mean, fuel tanks. But we're gonna get all this crap out of here and cut a bunch, way, way more. It's just the start. All right, so working our way through both sides we have off of the big bar. Now we're trying to get this one off the center bar. This one's off the center bar up to this weld right here. So we're just trying to get this one off the center bar of the weld too. Cut the welds. See if we can punch this one out the back. It's got a couple stitch welds along the top. Slowly but surely. So slowly but surely we're getting our way in there. We're gonna take out these guys and uh I'm making good progress here. Yeah, so we got the rear seat that doesn't exist out. I kinda do some trimming and clean up. We'll put a piece sheet and you know grind all the edges nice and smooth get a nice fine line and then put a piece of sheet that covers all that yeah, so but we're gonna get these plates out of here knocked off trim a little bit of weld on both sides make good progress all right we are up in this house so now i just gotta follow all these lines Clean up all these edges. That'll be the undercarriage piece. Cut out that junk there on that side, the junk there on that side. Get this piece out of here. Do the same clean up on that side and then get a piece of sheet ordered. Um, we'll mount the fuel cells, get all that plumbed and figured out and then contamin contain and cover it all completely. Solely, completely, 100% not in the car because the other way it was technically still in the car and the seam sealer was really probably flammable and, Oh, no, that was, it wasn't really even safe. Bro. So, just gonna keep moving forward. We got tons of room. We can get rid of that drive shaft loop or do the right one and make it all perfect now. 
and uh, yeah, I pumped up. This is coming along really good. Epic. Lots, lots of room. And then now we can sand in there and get in there, cut out all the pockets, do all the quarter panel stuff. Oh yeah, Mario's gonna be stoked. So back here, 10 gallons. So we're gonna go ahead and get those venting tied together, grounded, mounted, and uh, down here we're gonna have to loop them probably do two filters or and then tie them together after that just so they're double filtration double everything so get another one of them why it tee it to the feeds to the pumps you know all of it filters and feeds before the pumps and they'll look into upgrading to the 10, 10 gallon and the seven gallons is kind of tapped where we're at max pressures and stuff so I'm gonna keep cranking away on this stuff. It's looking really good though. The hell? Huh. Oh <laughs> yeah. So you see what happened was I wanted to change the fuel cell containment area and I got a little carried away with a cutoff wheel. And now I haven't got a uh, rear floor anymore. No, you ain't got no floor no more. Yeah, I got the important parts. Shock tires and frame rails are good. <laughs> I'm just trying to clean it all up and then uh, gonna, gonna make it way better back here. It's gonna be nice. You thought we had best race car before? <sighs> Watch out now, dude. Just getting started. Just getting started. Inside the car. All right, so I fished all of the wiring out of the pockets. Mario is working on the driver's side pocket right now. Let's get in there. Steven's over there. What's Steven doing? Oh, you got your door back open. Top with a washer or something. The sh the staging brake on top of the shift is the washer under the front. Mm -hmm. Something something. Where I cut it. Where you cut it? Weld them together because they're long. Let's figure it out. Structures behind structures, so it's coming out in more pieces than I would have liked. I'm gonna get it done. Yeah, as long as it all comes out and uh, you know, another, another nice stuff gets touched. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. So we're the last one standing, but we got a good, uh, the skeleton is out. Good start on this side. And uh, we're liking it a lot. We got a couple more things. We're gonna take off that bad boy. Um, we can still clean up all these other edges and uh, do the little nice flat disc stuff. Just clean up all the edges, all that, all that junk. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it, dude. So yeah. we'll do this side tomorrow. And uh, we'll clean up all this other stuff, make the plate for the bottom there, get some gas for the welder. So we can start rocking on uh, everything next. And uh, anything we put in from here on out needs to be chromoly tube or titanium seat. Make sure it's extra light so there's no, no waste weight in uh, cutting all that out. 
Looks like we're sitting uh, 61 pounds right now with the old junk that was in my trunk. All right. Uh, so I had a, one of the viewers message me from Hawaii. This looks like Dane. Sasaki? Sas Sasaki? I had it earlier. Sasaki? I don't know. Sasaki. But Sasaki. he sent us out a care package. Yeah, so I want to throw out. it on the video. A little we shout out. In here. See if we can break into this thing. That's not a razor, dude. No, I couldn't find the razor. And I was like, well, I have a, I have a scraper. There's Lily. Razor's close to a scraper. Dude, that, I think I one, one, one of the shards out of the CRX would be sharper than that. That's for sure. Oh, shoot. We got some goods here. Some Hawaiian goods. Ooh, what is that? Coffee? coffee? That's coffee. Ooh, that's for the that's road, gonna dude. be for me, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to bust out the old hats. coffee maker. PW. PW. Okay. Yum, dude. Milk Ooh, chocolate, biscuits. dude. I'm gonna have to hide these from Gordy. Yeah, what the sh show these to Jamie and your dad tomorrow too. Yeah. Oh, what are these? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, this is milk chocolate. Here, hold on. Mango. Pop one of these open right now. Leaving mango pieces. These look like chili powder mango pieces, dude. Ooh, those are gonna be right up my alley too. Thank you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. This is awesome. Well, lots of good stuff here. We're gonna have to get down on some of this, try it out. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one of these real quick. Woo! Just, yeah, just plop it on. Oh, we'll play one. Mmm. What do you think? Wet. Bomb. You going out, hat? Going out, hat. Thank you, Dane. Kick ass. All right, so Steven's getting the roof coming off. He's working the spot wells on that side, and then we got to be this side. We've got the front and the back taken care of. Over here. Over here. We've made some progress cleaning everything up. We've got the back piece out. So, back's all out. Um, front, I need to do some cleaning up still right up in there, but we got the sides cleaned up. So it's gonna look much better and be a lot lighter. All up in here a lot cleaner. Um, the, the fuel containment's gonna go, only gonna be as high as the parachute bar here. So it'll be a lot shorter, not all the way up to the top of the trunk. So way down here, it's just gonna go from here to that bar just tsh, tsh, and tsh, tsh, just really short and simple and it's not even really going to be fuel containment because we're looking at the fuel cell from the coal truck to get more fuel back here to do dragon drives as well as it's a bladder tank so technically doesn't need all of that uh doesn't need all the fuel containment being bladder and stuff so we're gonna just keep rocking and taking care of this stuff mario just got here we knocked out all that stuff last night we need to do up over the window and around clean up all the edges with the flap disc and then do this side up over the window around clean up all the edges of the flap disc and then steven and i were saying when we do a plate for this back area he's gonna have me he's gonna have me cut it to this height or possibly a little lower and then we're gonna do a straight edge and make it all perfect so when we lay the titanium sheet it's just all perfect because he didn't exactly like how he did it in his car he'd had to do it in the garage with some channel locks and stuff and this we have all the tools here we have the right stuff so we'll get it dialed in and taken care of and uh i'm pumped up and he just hopped right back in his office going to town getting the other side chopped out so steven's trying to tell me no more trailer we got to put everything in the car mario style and i'm i'm not against it so taking the hitch off putting it on the pile moves us from 60 to 85 pounds which is i mean the hitch is 25 pounds yeah. so the hitches are heavy man that's a, it's a tank well and it's thick too it's it's a unit of a hitch i mean on race week i like not having a trailer because like i mean you do have to stuff everything out and stuff everything back in but like when you're on the road yeah like I don't know, you're just the car. You can kind the biggest of... thing is going to be a roof rack for the, all the four wheels, yeah, but that's the it. Tires. Once, once we get all four slicks figured out, we're rocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah.
All right, well, that's gonna be the stopping point for now. We just got a flap disc and clean up a bit, but she ain't got no floor. Ain't got no floor. It's definitely gonna be different. Yeah, and here's our yeah. pile. Way better, way nicer. This was 90 pounds, you said? 89 so far, but it'll be 90 by the time I'm all cleaned up and, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be nice in there, yeah. I'm excited, so. We got a couple little trimming, you know, little things here and there. Uh, cars going over revamp winter time, uh, getting geared up, getting ready. Uh, we're gonna put some miles on the old girl and try and do a little bit more stuff requiring the car to drive and have more gas and whatnot. And uh, we're getting the weight sorted a little better and I'm excited for everything we got coming. So like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned below. This is Goo Built and uh, peace out.